The Rohit Sharma led team arrived as hot favorites but ended up falling flat in the Super 4 stage. After starting the tournament with a thumping five wicket win against Pakistan, many tipped India to set up a summit clash against them. However, a defeat against their arch rivals in the Super 4 stage triggered a dismal collapse. In what was a must win match, India slumped to a six wicket defeat, leading to their exit. While the Indian top order fired in patches, the middle order failed in crunch ties again. The spinners, especially Chahal, disappointed big time. With the T20 World Cup around the corner, the Indian team has plenty to think about regarding team combination. The only conciliation for India was Virat Kohli's 71st century. After a gap of 1,020 days, Virat Kohli raised his bat to celebrate a century. Kohil struck to 50s as well in his five tournament innings and his Asia Cup total was only surpassed by Pakistan's Mohammad Rizwan whose 55 in the final nudged him in front with 281 runs from six matches. Except for Kohli, no Indian batter was in the top seven scorers in the tournament. Pundits gave Sri Lanka little chance of making the Super 4 after an embarrassingly one-sided opening defeat against Afghanistan. But five successive wins took them to Asia Cup glory. Sri Lanka beat favourites India in the Super 4 and then got past Pakistan twice to give the young team confidence going into the T20 World Cup in Australia, where they will have to progress through a qualifying round. But Rajpaksa, who hit an unbeaten 71 in the final, said he believed a rejuvenated Sri Lanka could ride the momentum of their Asia Cup triumph and go all the way in the T20 World Cup. Mohammad Nabi's team showed their white ball credentials by bundling out eventual champions Sri Lanka for 105 in the opening match, which Afghanistan won by 8 wickets with nearly 10 overs to spare. Afghanistan then hammered Bangladesh and in the Super 4 gave Pakistan a mighty scare before going down by one wicket in the final over of an ill-tempered clash. Most of the team learned their cricket in refugee camps in Pakistan and they have made giant strides since getting test status in 2017. Nabi predicted they will come back stronger for the T20 World Cup where Afghanistan will be looking to upset the established cricket powers. All-rounder Shakib al Hassan returned as captain after he bowed to a Bangladesh cricket board ultimatum to scrap a deal with a betting site. But his presence made little difference to Bangladesh's woeful T20 record as they failed to make it to the Super 4 after losing group matches to Afghanistan and Sri Lanka. Shakib returned figures of 1 for 13 with his left arm spin against Afghanistan and then made 24 in the Sri Lanka defeat Bangladesh's 15th T20 loss in their last matches but insisted his team had a plan in place to improve. Pakistan's bowling attack was without the injured pace spearhead Shaheen Shah Afridi but another Shah, teenager Naseem, rose to the occasion. The 19-year-old's express pace saw him take seven wickets in five matches and he was also a match winner with the bat. His two last over sixes in the thrilling win over Afghanistan took his team into the final. Mohammad Nawaz and Shadab Khan both got eight wickets each in six matches. Babar Azam and Fakhar Zman had a dismal tournament that they both will want to forget in a hurry. The only bright light amongst the Pakistani batters was Mohammad Rizwan, who became the highest run scorer of the Asia Cup 2022.